Hello, this is Techman88, and I've got here a sorting and crafting system in one specifically for Guardian Farm Drops. Now, if you don't know why you probably want one of these, it's because of these sea lanterns. They are really a pain to craft without a crafting system. So this is just going to uh, distribute them in a 5 to 4 ratio. So you need 5 crystals and 4 shards, of course, to make the sea lanterns. So there we go. Um, then, like Dark Prismarine, it can also do this. Uh, this is not so hard to just craft manually, but I've got an option in there anyway, just because. Um, there we go. And then, of course, you can just do uh, distribute the just the normal shards like that, and then craft these up, just in case you want to do that. I don't think this is really the right way if you want to make a lot of these. Uh, you can just break chests and craft it that way. So I haven't seen a system quite like this before, and I think this is the interesting part of this whole project, is that this is a sorter and a distributor all in the same thing. So for an item distributor, you need to make sure that it has enough items to distribute. Um, and then also for a sorter, it uses uh, basically the same thing, where if the item count gets above 41 on this slot, um, then it'll allow the the items to be drawn out, and that's just done by opening this fence gate. And that's that. So the key to actually getting this to work is uh, you need to get the power to the fence gate somehow. And that can be a problem because you've got a water stream above it, and you need a solid block here, which is not really a problem. Uh, but actually, the comparator is the key to getting this working. If you have a redstone dust there, the minecart's just going to fly up on here. So yeah, the minecart actually hits hits this right here, and that makes it work. So this sort of arrangement might be useful in a lot of, in some other situations, but I'm not quite sure how. So the speed on each of these is about 1,500 items uh, per hour, so a bit faster than uh, just a single hopper. Um, and I'm going to show you how I tested that. It's kind of cool. I use the scarpet feature. So I'm just putting a chest up here with some items, and the first thing it does is going to trigger some command blocks. So this one is a scarpet thing. Uh, just gets the time when it starts, and then it starts a tick warp. And then uh, what it does here is it prints out the the amount of hours that it took to sort all those. Um, so yeah, th that's the number of hours. Then I can divide the uh, number of items in this chest by the number of hours, and that'll tell me exactly the rate. So there is one alternative. You can, of course, uh, just use Scarpet to calculate that. And this is so much, so much easier. So this will be items per hour. And now I can just simply copy that chest over and run the test again. Very cool. I kind of doubted Scarpet at first, but for just a little script like this, it's so far superior to command blockchains. Those are a real, real pain. And this will be done in a second. I forgot some parentheses. So now when I run it, it should work. Okay. So yeah, there we go. The rate. <clears throat> About 16,000 items per hour. Which is pretty decent. So you can definitely expand this, and there's a lot of ways you could do that. I have uh, 10 chests here with the crystals, and then 8 chests with the shards. So that's the 5 to 4 ratio for the sea lanterns. Um, you could definitely add more shard storage, and then have like a one section activated by activator rail, the other section by powered rail. Um, you can also stack it. So, like, here's a version with, like, two, two double chests. Um, that might be unnecessary. It might be better just to make them longer. And this, of course, you get out of a Guardian farm, you get a lot more shards than you do crystals. So this is going to end up just wasting a lot of them, just letting them despawn. So if you want to build a lot of uh, stuff out of, like, the bricks and stuff like that, the prismarine bricks, then you might want to add, like, some extra storage for that maybe a separate system, uh, additional storage for the shards. But I felt this was reasonably fast and not 
too big of a task to do. Uh, yeah, I think it's maybe five items per second is what it can handle. So definitely not as good as like one of those crazy ones like on SciCraft, one of the crazy uh, crafting system. But the good thing about this is that you can locate it at your guardian farm. You don't have to uh, bring a bunch of shulkers to a, a crafting system because a lot of the stuff you want to craft, you, need, you would need nine shulker boxes of uh, source items and then you just get one out of it. So I think it makes a lot more sense just to craft at your guardian farm. So I wanted to show my build in survival as well. I really just finished this farm a short while ago. I think it looks pretty cool. Um, yeah, with 1.13, it's really easy to design a guardian farm that looks pretty much however you want it to. So that's just an 8x8 eight eight area. And um, yeah, usually you don't have to do much cave lighting either. Um, so yeah, the items just drop down into a water stream down here. And they just come along on this tube. And then they go up to the sorter, which I stuck inside this building. So it was nice to uh, use some of the existing structure rather than having to design something new. So that is up here. Yeah, back this way. I haven't actually finished building it yet, but I thought it was kind of funny. Uh, <clears throat> the Guardians can end up going around in this water stream with all the items. And, well, it does definitely decrease your efficiency a little bit. But the reason for that is because... Um, they can spawn in anything where there's two water blocks uh, above one another. So that is just something to note if you decide to incorporate in into the original structure. So I might make a video at some point on Guardian Farms, because I think they, they're they worthy of more, uh, more math and research and optimizing for 1.13. So I think I've got a solution to the problem of the Guardians spawning, or, yeah, just ending up in this water stream, and it's just to place a lava block of love. And I haven't found that they've dropped anything from this, and that's a good thing. Because if, uh, like, an item drops in there, then it might uh, merge with another item and set the velocity to zero. There is one other alternate design you can consider doing if you want to, like, expand this bigger. Because, uh, like in the first design I showed, it, it'll it launch whenever it has uh, 42 items. So I can just put 42 in there. Or, yeah, 42. Now it'll launch and distribute the items. But that means that you could only distribute them over um, uh, 20 hoppers. But if you wanted to make that a little bit bigger, you can need to use a design like this and just adjust the number of items in them. So right now it's uh, 64, then uh, one stack of each of these 64 stackable items. Then if I add one more, then it'll launch. And I'm just using a couple slabs here. And I don't think this is an option on the impulse sorter that he invented, because it has uh, three, uh, three things and it has a redstone torch. So yeah, this is actually just a little bit more versatile in that way. So back in my survival world, I finished adding all the uh, tweaks I made, like this lava bit right here, and I finished building up the rest of it. So it's down underneath here. And this is all out of the uh, guardian farm, so it's not going to be spawning any guardians. And yeah, I got a lot of uh, crystals in there and shards over here. But yeah, I found this is uh, quite good for, for the crafting. So I can just try that now. Just gonna try first the for the uh, sea lanterns. And it's kind of laggy, but actually, I think this I think this is good proof that uh, this is just about fast enough. You probably don't want something super fast because then you're gonna lag out your game with all of these items. Because in 1.13, that is pretty bad. So anyway, I think this is simple enough to build just from looking at it right here. Uh, I guess the harder things to see are like the slab here. This is important. Um, yeah, it's just uh, this worked out to power everything the right way. And then this part over here. I guess I should probably show how to build build this part, if you don't know. 
Um, so mouse isn't quite working right. Uh, so to build this part, you build it like that. Then you take this out. Then it is correct. Then you would just put in the... Uh, you can use your comparator or a repeater there. Then you can build around it and nothing bad is going to happen. So yes, yeah, just pretty much like that. Uh, so anyway, uh, thank you for watching and goodbye.